So if you deposit $10,000 into the bank, the bank sets aside 10% or $1,000 and then loans out the rest of your money. The way it works is say another person comes into the bank and asks for a car loan of $9,000. At this moment, the bank loans out the $9,000 from your original deposit. It isn't there anymore. The borrower then pays the person selling the car and they go deposit the money into another bank, which is part of the same central banking system. This $9,000 is treated as a new deposit and the process continues. The money gets redeposited and reloaned until the initial deposit of $10,000 becomes $100,000. The banking system just created $90,000 by loaning out your money. Apparently it began with the goldsmiths in the 17th century when people were trading in gold. Gold was heavy to carry around so people stored the actual metal in vaults and traded receipts instead. Those receipts were the first paper money. Since only a few people would withdraw their gold at any given time, the vault owners, basically the new bankers, began creating receipts for more metals than they actually held. They loaned out those receipts and charged interest on money, gold, that they didn't really have.